Well, I'm back here in the Pavilion Garden Centre up in Ballygarvan in County Cork on an absolutely gorgeous spring day. It's one of these beautiful pet days with the blue skies and sunshine that it kind of makes you want to get out into the garden. It's, it's good for the soul a day like this and you really want to get out into it. You can hear the birds singing, you can literally feel things coming into growth all around you. Now I was asked recently by a person, was there any plant that I didn't like? Uh, because I'm always talking about plants with such enthusiasm and referring to their, their good points and that and I thought about it and it's difficult really to think of a plant that I don't like. I, I like most of them. However, it leads me to another point which is where if we use plants in the wrong place we can learn to like them less. Now that's our fault, not the fault of the plant. If you look at this gorgeous, gorgeous plant, a plant called Vinca Illumination or Periwinkle as it's commonly referred to. Gorgeous tresses of, of kind of gold and green foliage fall down the side as you can see there and these gorgeous mauve flowers. It flowers nearly 12 months of the year. Absolutely stunning plant for the right effect. However, if you plant it into the ground, and it will surely give you good evergreen ground cover if that's what you want, but a bit like an unwanted house guest who begins to make himself feel too much at home, so too will the vinca because these innocent looking tendrils, where they hit the ground, they will set root and they will set root and they will be over there and over there and before you know it your garden will be colonized with vinca and you will learn to hate it. Not the plant's fault, our fault for putting it in the wrong place. So what do you do? Well if you have an area or a difficult bank or something like that where you're happy for it to take over and be invasive then that's the plant for you. However if you don't and you don't want it to outstay its welcome or outgrow its welcome if you like well then it's not the plant for you. But you can still have it in the garden because why wouldn't you? It's such a gorgeous gorgeous plant. In a container. Plant it in a pot where you get the effect of it coming down the side or a raised bed would be similar where you get the effect of it falling out over the edge. You have it here mixed with this cordyline and gorgeous purple leafed hebe where you're going to get 12 months of interest. It's not just for summer colour, you're getting colour all year round from this combination. Herbs also are a plant that are very good to grow in pots in this climate because they're native to the Mediterranean where they have sunshine like this all the time but they have very very free draining soil. So therefore in a pot or in a container like this we can control the growing medium and control the, the, the amount of drainage to make sure that they don't get waterlogged. So all herbs I would say would nearly benefit from being grown in a raised bed or a pot like this but there's one, this innocent looking fellow here, mint, one of the nicest, absolutely gorgeous, one of the nicest of all fresh herbs. I insist you grow it in a pot. If you introduce him into the garden, he's going to bully everything. It should come with a government health warning. It's going to push all the other plants out and take over and colonize. Again, if you're happy for it to do that in a particular area of the garden, grand, because he will draw in the bees, he will draw in the butterflies and the good guys, but an absolute thug in the garden. Grow it in a pot would be my advice for the mint and for the vinca.